So just another quick video, which is actually a follow-up video on the previous video I did on the improvements to the multi-BPM analysis engine in the latest version of Virtual GDA 2021, which is built 7032 by the time of this recording. So I got a couple of questions on that one, and those are the ones I'm going to try to, uh, to answer in this video. So the first one was regarding uh, how you get to this feature, because it's a pretty long way if you can do that in an easier way. So uh, what you normally do is you, uh, you go into the BPM editor, and then you do, go to this drop down here, and then you do reanalysis multi BPM. And that's, of course, a few clicks. Can you do that faster? And yes, you can if you load a track. If you have a track loaded that you want to check if, uh, if, it's, uh, if it can be multi BPM detected in a meaningful way, you can do it with a script. So let me load this track that I created for the previous video, which goes from 105 to 116 BPM, but Virtual DJ doesn't currently know. It just says 116 all the way through, right? So I want to analyze it for multi BPM, and I can do that using a script. So I have this script here, we analyze with the parameter multi, and that will actually do a multi BPM uh, analysis of the track. So if I just click the button when the, while the track is loaded, it does the multi BPM analysis, and you can now see, now it goes from 105 here, all the way up to the breakdown, and the other side of the breakdown, it has 116. So that's a way to quickly uh, get the uh, uh, get multi BPM analysis done on the track that you've loaded. If you're wondering if that'll actually help you, the other question was regarding uh, if you can do it on multiple tracks at the same time. And yes, you can do that too. Uh, that's another script. So uh, if I, for instance, mark or select multi select three tracks down here, and I want to uh, do multi BPM analysis on all three of them, then I can uh, use this script. So that's Browsed file analyze with again with the multi parameter uh, option uh, or par uh, multi parameter sorry and uh, so if I click that now you can see that it now starts analyzing these three files and now it's done and now they've been analyzed for multi BPMs um, a few things to notice about uh, this though this is slower so you probably don't want to always use it so let's do it uh, a time comparison. So if I analyze all these tracks, it batch them in a regular fashion uh, with this uh, regular old analyze for BPM, you can check the speed now on this specific, specific laptop. So it's doing three at a time, and it's doing all 16 tracks, and it's done. If I do the, uh, the browse file analysis for, for multi-BPM, now for the same 16 files, we can follow along up here. So 13 more, it says 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 1, last two ones, last one, and it's done. So that's, that was significantly slower so maybe like three times slower. So maybe you don't want to do this on all tracks, specifically not these tracks, because apart from the one that I created to use in this video, these are all made on computer, so you know they're not going to vary. Uh, that brings me on uh, to the next uh, uh, thing to know. And it is, even though these are made on computer, um, Virtual DJ will still sometimes detect them to have, uh, have different multi-BPMs throughout the track, even though it's not true. Um, but these are tiny differences, so it has no practical uh, implications. You can just mix and sync uh, like you would always do, but just something to notice. So if I load this track, it says 130.99. And then if I click through it, now it's, now it's 131. If I load another track, 87.03, 87.00, yet another track, 87.00, 86.99. So it will often detect these multi-BPM even though they're not there. 
but of course, the changes are so tiny, it has no practical implement implement impl implications. Um, but of course, this is mostly relevant to use on tracks that have multiple BPMs throughout them. So again, maybe not use this feature just on anything, on everything, right? Uh, another thing to notice that you probably noticed on the, uh, on the first track is that it can tend to do double BPMs and it can also tend to, to detect double BPMs in some parts of the track and then not in all parts of the track. So it can jump to double uh, or half throughout the track. Um, again, that, uh, that's not really a problem because VDJ, uh, VDJ can, can sync to, uh, to half or double the BPMs. But it's something to keep an eye on and something that might uh, disturb you a little bit while using this stuff. Um, so that was basically the two questions. Can you do this on the, in a faster way on the track you loaded? Yes, you can, using this little script. And can you do it on multiple files? Yes, you can. You can multiple select them and use this little script. And then a couple of things to notice. I'll, of course, add these two scripts to the video description, so you can go grab them there if you want.